a dead so cat. So we're going to Home Depot because we're bored. And we got cabin fever. So and we're pent up. <laughs> and snorkels has got cabin fever and he's pent up. And we're going to do some ball searches. Uh, like in the aisles, we'll hide it and shit. I've never done this with him before. Um, we did it with Bolt, the Dutch Shepherd that we handed off to the New York State Police. But the only ball searching stuff I've done with him is like throwing it into tall grass and like not letting him see and then go find it. Or I feel like that's probably maybe in the snow. I think that's really all I've ever done with him. So it should be interesting. It's going to be a learning experience for him. And I'm still shitty at this. So it's still a learning experience for me. But we'll have our fearless leader. <laughs> to walk us through it. <laughs> yes. He'll probably do most of the handling. What? No way. I'm Just the kidding. cameraman. Oh, okay. Well, that's why we have a tripod, so we can Just, stick it. I want to be that guy that laughs behind the camera. No, oh, thank you. You can laugh at me. I left a prong on him. I didn't think I needed to put a flat on him. I don't know. He's reckless anyways. He probably could use the, the inhibition a little bit, so... We'll see how it goes.
Go, go, boy. Yeah, buddy, go, go, boy. Hey. Sit. Push. Yes. Go, boy. He's slow to learn things, and so am I, but I think once he gets it, he, you know, he accelerates pretty quickly, and that's the way it's been with everything when it came to ring training, so, you know. It's recording. Hey, hello, Snuggles. The thing on the end of that is not a toy. <laughs> He's like, can I eat Don't that? Do it. Can I eat that? Don't do it. He's looking at it like he wants to. So today is round two of more ball searches. Where are we going, Lowe's? We're going to Lowe's this time to switch up the store. It's snowing, it's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Are we watching the game? Yeah. I really don't care about football. If we can. We can see the commercials, which hopefully will be good. Mm -hmm. I don't know we... It's gonna be like our own little version of Uncut Gems. Oh. We're going to parlay on the kickoff day. How do you think yesterday's ball searches went? You didn't really give any feedback, sir. That's because sometimes I just don't want to give feedback. I told you it was good. Okay, well I brought a longer leash this time. And if I had to give a synopsis of yesterday, it would be that it was good and it was fun and narky. Had a grand old time. <laughs> Don't look away. Yeah, but I, uh, I think he obviously loves the ball. His ball, and he's a dog. And it's, in my opinion, he's a dog. Pretty easy to to train detection when you've got a dog that loves his ball and. <laughs> No, when you've got a dog, and then a dog that loves his ball. Because hmm. the dog can smell shit, and he wants to find his ball. And he's got to smell it to find it. <laughs> wow, that was like earth shattering. Woof. No. I don't think the, the world's ready for that. Right. <laughs> Simple is best. But yeah, so we're here. We will unload. I don't know. It seems like there's a decent amount of people here, so. Half of these people are employees. Maybe. That's why they're all parked right here. But, anyways, we'll be back in a hot second. Hi. Videoing. Ready to go. Is 
actually recording this time? Yeah. Say hi, Snuckles. Okay. So this is round three of ball searches. Yesterday went well, except we weren't recording most of it. <laughs> Benjamin. We had cameraman error. So hopefully today we're back at Home Depot because we only have two options that are nearby, Home Depot and Lowe's. So we're back at Home Depot. Hopefully we'll get everything on camera today and it'll go well. And you'll get to actually see Ben handling today because he did yesterday and we didn't get that on film. You saying no? I don't want to handle. Why? You do it so well. See. You need to show, like, okay, so there's me who's fumbling and stumbling over their feet like a retard, and then there's oh, someone who actually knows what they're absolutely. doing. So I feel like they should get the contrast of, like, a noob and someone who's more of a pro. Maybe a tiny bit less noob. We'll see Do how it. it goes. All right. Home Depot, here we are.
Yes, good boy. That was good. Good boy. Good job. Yeah, good boy. supposed to there. Ah, good boy. As you can see, Nargo has no problem with uh, the environment and climbing over things and bashing through things, and that does not stop him. He's a basher. He's definitely not sensitive in that sense. Um, I feel like today he really kind of more understood what we were asking of him. He was like actually seemingly much more thinking rather than just like acting crazy, looking for the ball. You know, the problem that we were talking about minutes ago with him is just that sometimes he gets like weird when you ask him to be more obedient or you like you know you gotta slow down then he's like gets a little worried but yeah it's a classic um battle between too much obedience versus too much um, freedom yeah so I mean with him he's so driven that it's pretty easy just with good training and a bunch of reps to get an understand like this he's just gotta focus on it. searching and um you know take our input mm -hmm. as just help to get him back on track with mm -hmm. searching not to come back and look for something from us i think that last one was really good like he was actually being much more methodical and yeah, not cool. just blasting through like he was actually sniffing and smelling and I'm happy. And like, one of the things we could do next is, um, you know, get it to the point where he's going and indicating on the ball, but then you could start having him sit 
or do like a behavior mm-hmm. and then rewarding him externally with another ball mm-hmm. and like throwing it you know either over his head or at the odor mm-hmm. um, once he's like right on the odor you know mm-hmm. so you'd kind of want to know like where it is and you know make sure that you're you're not uh, indicating to him or cueing him in any way where it is Guess what? If we get this down pat, you can go on America's Top Dog with them, whatever the hell that show is. Do they do detection? They do, yeah. Yeah. You do detection, like an obstacle course, and bite work. And it's like I'm not very good at getting on shows. I forgot to tell you, I saw the, I got, oh, I saw on Instagram, um, Forge and Fire, what you're supposed to do. It was like there was an email that you're supposed to contact. Did you? No, I forgot. (laughs) But I feel like I should email them. Yeah. I also try. find that there's value too in like switching up. Like, I look different today in training. Yeah. I think there's value in that too because, like, I train with hats on, I train with sunglasses on, I train with hoods on because when I trial, I never know. Like, I've had to trial with sunglasses on, I've had to trial with many layers and a hood on. So, I think there's value too in changing up how you, your appearance is because yeah. I feel like I've heard people say that, like, their dogs get weird if they have a hat on or they have sunglasses on or something stupid like that. Well, it's so. also very similar to dogs that only will bite one like toy to me that's crazy but a lot of people have tr- problems with like their dog only likes the ball or only likes the tug and I feel like yeah that's like an excuse but also just bad training in the beginning like you should have your dog be biting anything and not him not have an issue with what he's being rewarded with or biting yeah yeah and I appreciate his uh willingness to just like fly and jump over things and not care yeah. I did a lot with him as a puppy, like in jungle gyms and different floors, wood floor, tile floor, slippery floors. It's one of the hard parts of having a male is keeping them safe. Yeah, but you, I reckless. hear a lot of times, like, they'll get police canines that have only ever lived in kennels and then are weird about stairs well, or weird like, about... Oh, they were like, you know, one awe. of the big things they were checking <laughs> with Bold is like, will he jump up on this? Will he jump up on these pipes? Can will you throw stairs? the ball over these yeah. big you know drainage tubes and you know we're like of course like, it was like i understand the questions and i knew they would probably do stuff like that but it was just like you know just oh, like this puppy is totally fine like there i know there will be no problem with this because we you know the t- kind of dog that he was and that we already Shot tested a bunch of it and mm-hmm. knew that he was just he, for his ball he was gonna do anything you know like this and one. i wouldn't have i probably would have returned a dog that wasn't showing that prior yeah he wasn't didn't have the ability especially if he has to be a police dog he has to yeah. handle whatever you throw at him so yeah it's one of the fun things about raising a puppy it's the socialization aspect but yeah so that was day three good times it was good maybe next time we will start asking more of him and having him indicate rather than just be a wild animal so. Please, if you like the channel, you know, we, we need the support, so. Give us a thumbs up. You gotta do the indicator bell and subscribe. It'll be cool. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, see you soon. Bye. There it goes. Say goodbye.